In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize spring tension into a gradient, which means that we can scale it. Now this system means that we can align with the training principle of progressive overload and that will enable our clients to get stronger. So on the board here, we've got no spring, light spring, medium spring, heavy spring, heavy light and heavy medium. And previously, all we would have known is just some colors. However, when you look into the total resistance you're working with, now it tells you a more complete picture of what's really happening. See how the resistance you're working with increases. See how you can start with no resistance and as we add up the tension in this order, it just gets heavier and heavier and heavier. Now we could keep this going until you have all the springs on. And then you'd have the full picture of the gradient that you're working with. So what enables us as instructors to help people get stronger is to know how to make the same exercise harder based on load. Some exercises will be harder with more resistance. Some exercises will be harder with less resistance. With this complete picture of the spring tension gradient, it is like a roadmap on how to make it harder. So in the notes there, you'll see the full gradient and please use that. And if you want to try it out for yourself by changing the springs, try and become very familiar with it. And that's going to make a lot more sense for you uh, when you teach um, and it'll help you be intuitive and when you adapt spring tension. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can actually take this information here and turn it into spring levels for exercise.